To know what God is doing in this world, you would have to know what God is doing in the entire universe. An understanding that until recently has not been revealed to the human family. God's plan for this world is part of God's plan for all of creation that is living in separation in the physical reality. Beyond this physical reality, there is a greater reality of creation that is immortal and unchanging. It is this reality from which you were born and to which you will return to one day, for you can never lose your true connection with God. God's purpose is to reclaim the separated through a deeper knowledge that God has placed within each. For no matter how lost you become in your worldly reality, in this world or any world, you cannot lose that part of yourself that is still connected to God. God knows this, of course, but humanity does not understand. In fact, it is an understanding that few in the universe even understand. I can say this to you because this is part of God's new revelation for the world, a revelation more vast and comprehensive than anything that has ever been given to the human family before, given now at a great turning point for humanity as it faces a declining world and a universe full of intelligent life the greatest turning point the human family has ever or will ever face. It is at this time of great consequence as the human family faces tremendous upheaval and environmental decline that the Lord of the universe must speak through the angelic assembly once again to bring great clarification and great illumination to those who are ready to receive and to respond. Part of this revelation reveals what God is doing in the universe, God's plan for redemption, which is not exclusive to this world, but which too applies to all worlds where intelligent life has evolved or has colonized over time. Such a revelation could not be given to humanity before, for it is far too expansive, and the need for it was not there until humanity reached this critical threshold in its evolution, facing now challenges for which it cannot answer, facing now challenges for which it is unprepared, facing now challenges on a scale never seen before in this world, facing the entire human family. Therefore, God's message now is not for one tribe or group or region, but for all of humanity, to be shared at once as effectively as possible. The messenger has been sent. He has had to build a small core community under grave difficulty, with many challenges to his health and well-being. Yet he has spent 30 years receiving the revelation and assuring its purity and its accuracy, for such a revelation cannot be left to future generations to rearrange and to present as they see fit. God's revelation of life in the universe and of God's presence in the universe will have all religions eventually reassessing their fundamental beliefs and position. For much of what humanity believes to be true, or assumes to be true, or has been taught over the ages, will be seen in a very different light as they consider God of a greater community of life. This is a great challenge, but a necessary one. If humanity is to evolve beyond being a primitive race in a universe where there are many more mature societies with which it will have to contend. It is time now for humanity to end its ceaseless conflicts and to prepare for a world in decline and for intervention from a universe of which it knows nothing at all. God's new revelation for the world then 
is central to humanity's future, safety, and destiny. But to receive something of this magnitude and this comprehensiveness will require many things to be reconsidered. For to understand what God is doing in this world, you must understand what God is doing in the entire universe. And this is wisdom and revelation that has not been given to the human family until now. Recognize the need for this, and you will see why God has spoken again. Recognizing how religions are now in contention with each other and splintered internally, and you will see the great need for this. Recognizing the great waves of change that are coming to the world and humanity's lack of awareness and commitment to prepare, and you will see the great need for a new revelation. Think of humanity's vulnerability to life in the universe, and you'll see why God must speak again, revealing things that have never been shared with the human family before, for it was not needed before. But now it is needed, and it has been given in its purest form, given to you, given to the human family, available to all who can respond, and who have the commitment and the humility to receive revelation, a great revelation, the perfect revelation for this time and the times to come. To know what God is doing in the world, you must have this to prepare you. To know why you are in the world, truly, completely, you must have this to prepare you. To know what is coming over the horizon, which remains unseen and unrecognized by many, you must have this revelation. It is for you, and it has come at just the right time. 